So this is how you're going to do your Gilbert and George. Um, let's have a look at Gilbert and George first of all. Here we go, that's on that shared Pinterest board with you. Or have a look I should say on my Pinterest account and you'll find it. This is Gilbert and George's work. The key features about their work is, um, actually let's get a big one. The images are basically all black and white and then they've been hand coloured. Um, we can, they, traditionally they did it analogue like painting and things like that and now they've started to do there's a box now they've started to do it with photoshop which is what we're going to use they're all photo montage together the same technique as Jerry Yelzelman so you'll use your mask definitely and also the other thing is lots of layering and stacking on top and the use of the grid line okay so I'm going to teach you how to do those first of all download your images so these are your stock photos uh, four to six Okay, so they're all downloaded. Now let me open those. And what I want you to do, you can, um, there, these are my four. I'm just going to drag and drop them into Photoshop and they'll open. What you could do is in here, because they're going to be black and white, go through and do your conversions. Okay. Or the other way, which is what I need to show you, so let me just do that again. Select all, open image, as you're going to do this. And this is where you're going to use these things here. These are adjustment layers. You have the ability to do all these things. We're just going to go black and white, and here you go. And you need to just play with the sliders and get it to the look that you want. Then from there, you're going to merge those two together. So select both layers, go up here where the little lines in the triangle are, click that and go to merge layers. It's gone from two layers in the palette to just one. From there you drag and drop it over into your Jerry Yulzerman, sorry, Gilbert and George canvas that you've created and your canvas is going to be, let me quickly create one, 5 by 7 inches again because we're using the old photo sizes. Um, and you need to make sure it's resolution 300, but the difference this time it's a colour image because you're going to drop colour into it. Alright, so that's that, that's done, and here is one that I have prepared earlier. Uh, that's this one here. Okay, so those are all those images that I've done. And what I've done, if you have a look over here, is I've masked the wall, because that was really tedious for me to show you how to do all the masking. One thing I have done different, though, if we turn the hand on and off, you'll see I've made the hands a little bit see-through. To do that, that's your opacity up here. It's a slider. Okay. 100% can't see through. Uh, drop it down, you can see through a little bit. All right. The other thing about Gilbert and George's work is there was a lot of repetition. So what you need to do is I'm going to show you how to repeat things and how to transform things. Um, so here's the girl. And what I've done is I have made two of her. To do that, I'm just going to turn one of her off. Select that layer. Drag it down next to the trash bin. There's like a new layer creator. And I now have two of her. I wanted to transform her. And transform means you want to change the size of it or um, perspective or something. So Command-T is your quick key. Okay. You always have to enter after that or push return, otherwise it won't let you do anything. Or if you go up here under Image, sorry, Edit, Transform, it's all these things here. So if I flip her horizontal, there we go, I've got two of her. So let me turn on the one that I created. Trash that one that I just did. Alright, so I want those two. Next thing, I want two of this lovely lady down here. Okay, drag down to there, done. Got the cross because that's my moving tool. There you go. I want her the same level as that one to help me. 
I'm going to drag because I'm on the cross. I go up to the rulers up here. If you don't see rulers, then you need to go into view, click rulers. And I can drag and drop down. Okay. And I can get here kind of how I want to. Okay. Center. And I can see I've got a little stuff up on that. There's a little bit of black happening here. So I'm going to go on my mask and just quickly take care of that with the brush. Okay, and that's now gone. Okay, so the other thing I've done is I did these flowers. Alright, all I did is I just did multiple layers by just dragging and dropping down there. And simply a matter of Command T and scaling each to the size that I wanted and that stacked them all up for me. Okay, so I've got all the basic composition there. Now what I need to do is I need to put in, first of all, I'm going to put in my grid lines. So to do that I'm going to go to this line feature over here which is underneath the arrow. Click that and you have up here your line weight. So up in the toolbar you can play around with this. This is 10 pixel. Okay, so it's that big. Let's see what it looks like if I go 5. Okay, so you'll see a difference. They need to be pretty big lines because you're doing Gilbert and George. Alright, so I would say 10 or more personally. So you'll notice when I did it, a layer or a line, it's got all these shapes happening down here. And what's happened is it's been just put in a weird position under the flowers. That's why you can't see them. Let's drag it up. Let me drag. If you want to shift multiple things around at once, if you just hold shift down, it means that you and you select multiple layers. It's all good. Okay. What you can do is you want to generally make straight lines, you know, nice and horizontal or nice and vertical. So to do that, there's a quick key that you have to use. Hold shift. Same as when you're transforming anything. Hold shift because it stops skewing stuff. Alright. Okay. And what's happened is I've now got that all on one layer. I'm okay with that one being on one layer. Um, however, I want to start doing some different layers. So I just generate a new layer by using that button next to the trash. And that means I can then use the cross tool and manipulate my layers. Um, just quickly whack another one in there. And maybe just another. Whoops. Make sure I leave one down there. Okay, and you'll notice because of where I put my shape, it's going to be doing some different things. Okay. Let's zoom in. Okay, so see that one there goes above her and then underneath the flower, and that's just literally because of where it was created. Um, I'm actually going to drag it all the way down. There we go. And so it's not actually going over here whatsoever. Now what we need to do is we need to get some colour going in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Wonder Woman. I'm going to tone it red. So I'm going to use a photo filter to do that because photo filter allows for the colour of the image to come through still. If I was to use blocks of colour, then you'd actually see just literally a shape there. So I'm going to click on here, photo filter, with this palette that's come up. You have these presets down here. I'm going to go a deep red, and watch what happens with the slider. Okay? Depends on what you want it to do. That photo filter will affect everything layered underneath it. So if I drag it up another one, it means the two Wonder Womans are going to be done. If I drag it up here, it means some of my flowers are going to be done as well. Alright, I'm actually okay with that being that way. Those three, I think that feels kind of balanced, so I'm good. I'm going to do the hands. Let's do a yellow. 
and yeah, that's the other way of doing it. You can click on here and you can custom do the sliders and choose colors. And notice what's happening with my image. If I just go to a really disgusting green. And do my slider all the way up. It's affecting, it's even affecting the red down the bottom. Okay. I don't want that to happen. I only want the hands to be done. So what you need to do is you need to option, toggle between those two layers and click. And see that's just applied now to that layer. So that's a quick little key that you need to remember. If you only want a filter or an adjustment layer to apply to one layer, always hold option and toggle and click between. And that's done. Okay, I'm just going to do a flower. Actually, I might do that one there. And I might do a blue. I'm just going to really bring up the intensity of that. And just toggle. Make sure it's, oops, there we go. Okay, so that's that done. What I need to do now is I wanna add some fill color in the background. So if I go all the way down to the bottom, add in some layers and put them down in the background. I'm gonna work on that layer. Okay, so I'm gonna do a selection, use my square and let's see what happens if I do a selection. Go to your paint bucket, click down in here on the square boxes, and let's choose maybe yellow. Okay, and let's see what happens. There we go. And let's see what happens if I drag that layer up. There we go, because it was affected by that photo filter. Work in a layer. Now let's do like a Okay, and that's how it's done. It's not actually that bad to do, it's pretty easy. And here is a finished result. There you go. Um, one way, so this is using different weight lines. And also if you have a look around here, I actually... It's not that great in terms of around here. You can see it's been hand generated and hand done. And so all I did, because remember this is just an activity to learn the skills, is just use simply, um, you have your paintbrush tool, you've also got a pencil tool. So I'm just going to use a paintbrush and go for like a more harder edge. Let's get the size down. Put it on black here. And I'm just going to drop a new layer in there to make sure. Obviously you'd spend time doing this. And there you go. That's it. And save it and your Gilbert and George will be all done and finished. Um, please make sure though as you're doing this, remember to regularly save because that's really important because things corrupt. After you've saved it you and you're happy with it, the next thing you need to do is flatten it. And the reason why we flatten, if you have a look here, this is an original Photoshop file. It's got an extension PSD and that is 47.3 meg. This one here, that's a Photoshop file as well but it's been flattened so it's like shrunk it huge amount so you need to make sure that you flatten it um, and in fact what I would do is just flatten it and save it as a JPEG and that's all you need to do done